Hey stars shine, how are you? I'm TK and today I will play more of Tingle Tower. In the last episode, we we talked to more people including Poppy. I love Poppy. Um but uh was it Fritz Fitz told us to check Flora's room again. Not for a missing clue, but something else, and I'm not entirely sure what he means. I looked around, I, I can't figure out what he means, so I think we should just get back to our investigation um, by questioning people. So we only have two more people to question um, about all the clues and stuff that we found. A fellow bird enthusiast. She's quite the expert, truth be told. Studied them professionally at one point. I think her father taught her. Are you friends with Flora? A little bit. A little, a little bit, bit, she says. She's <laughs> one for the peace and quiet. I dare say I'm a little too loud for her. Oh, that's I fair. That. I do admire her, though, really. Always felt like she could have done better than settle for Felix. Ouch. <laughs> Ow. I said it. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> I must say, I really don't care for the den of self-delusion that he's retreated into. People are better off when they just let themselves be themselves. Between you and me, I think Felix is secretly rather miserable. Probably, honestly. I love her animations because of her, like, bird wing feather arm things i don't know what to call it. like they're like wings on her arms like sleeve her sleeves are wings and i like that she mostly ignores me if i'm honest how come well we're not quite on the same intellectual level oh i mean well you i mean you don't need to no no it's quite all right i'm comfortable with it yeah, you know, at least she's comfortable with it, but <laughs> she's a most unsavory little. Oh, mm. oh! She was incredibly rude about my appearance. Oh, which part? Rude. The giant bird arms, or if I were her, I'd go easy on the judgment of others. I mean, look at her; she looks like the ghost of a scarecrow. <laughs> so, I just wish Uncle Pointer would tell her to behave herself. Professor Pointer. Why him? Oh, it was Uncle that called her in. She's his responsibility. Did you not know that? No, we actually just learned that. But I guess we could have figured out from her. But we already figured that out, so. She'd sit in the aviary first thing in the morning and paint the birds. Sometimes she'd ask me their names. Freya was interested in studying bird species too? No, just wanted to know their names. Isabel, Clementine, Myrtle, Lissandra, It's just Genevieve, nice to thanks. ask the names For of pets. For my first birthday, she gave me a framed painting. All the birds from a single spring. With their names written underneath. Aww. I can't begin to tell you how much I've treasured it. Aww. Sounds like you two were close. I feel like I always struggled to articulate my admiration for her. But she had a way of understanding... Unspoken things. Aww. Isn't he strapping? He is big. Yeah. And big. so brooding. And br brooding. I'm sulking out. <laughs> I can never tell what's going on in that beautiful head of his. It just sounds like you don't know him very well. Yeah. <laughs> remember asking for your input. <laughs> well, that ticked her off, which it, I, I swear. I swear, there's something going on between Fitz and Poppy, and Penny knows it, even though they're engaged. Even though Fitz and Penny are engaged, I, I swear. I an interest in Uncle's astronomy. On occasion, I've dared to visit him in his tower, but I always regret it. It's all just a little too abstract for me. What do you mean? Oh, did you know the sun is apparently over four hundred thousand miles wide? Okay, so. What should I do with that information? <laughs> Come look at me. You're the one who memorized it. True. She she did memorize it. She knows it. Oh, she's beautiful. <laughs> who is she? Wait. Is is that 
Is that me? <laughs> They're like, oh gosh. Oh, <laughs> did you talk to Poppy already? Uh, yeah, she doesn't like Poppy because she's stealing did your you man. Make any notes of what she told you? Yeah, I did. Lovely. Burn them. It'll what? all be lies. <gasps> Why would Poppy lie to us? Because that's what she does. She's a snake. Uh huh. Looks like one too. Don't you think you're being a little unfair, Penny? She started it. She's stealing your man. That's why. That's why you don't like her. No. It's probably quite impressive. To a visitor, fresh eyes and all that. Not to you. Try living in it for 20 years. <laughs> the sheen wears off. If it wasn't for my fits, I'd have little reason to stay. What about inheritance? You're the next oldest pointer after your uncle, aren't you? Well, thank you very much for feeling <laughs> like that. But no, any money left in the pointer family will pass down directly to Poppy. Oh. I couldn't care less, to be perfectly honest. No, I think she cares. That's maybe another reason to not like Poppy. She's like, Poppy takes everything from me. Finally, I get to see a detective's case file. That's oh, she a very loves it. Specific thing. Yeah. <laughs> well, only last week I asked that miserable hawkshot woman if I could see her case notes. I'm guessing she said no. Would have been much more polite if she had just said no. Instead, she was quite rude to me. Accused me of being what was it? A shallow sensationalist. I'm sure I've read about this creature somewhere. Don't remember anything about him playing the harp, though. <laughs> Goodness me. Poppy really doesn't take care of her belongings, does she? It wasn't in Poppy's room. It was in the little pond in the garden. Exactly! Hardly! <laughs> <laughs> you know, got a point. Hello. Who penned this juicy little number? We don't know. It's not signed. An anonymous letter? Classic clue. I doubt Freya intended it, but the overall effect is a little unsettling. Don't you think? <laughs> it's more <laughs> that sense. She's an inescapably haunting presence, bless her. Hmm, <laughs> gaudy old thing, isn't it? Flora seems very fond of it. I've never understood why. But then I could say the same thing about her husband. <laughs> hey <-o. laughs> She's had it for a long time. As a young child, she'd call it her mama phone. Mm -hmm. it belonging to her mother. Aww. It's cute. It is oh cute. yes, adorable. Uh, dang. Oh, terrible. You recognize it? A color scheme. Three different pinks. <laughs> I kind of feel that. Oh, that's rather sad. Freya doesn't take very good care of her pains, does she? But then she was always rather bohemian, had her own priorities. Ooh, delightful. More of a gemstone than a fruit, isn't it? Inedible, too, I think. Yes. At one point, I thought Fitz might be growing them to sell them. But honestly, I think he just likes the way they look. Huh, you know, that's fair. Wait, did I already ask her about the troll? Oh, did Fitz show you that? Yeah, I Not did. I remember this. Exactly. We found it hidden under his bed. Ah, right. I don't know what that is. Somebody taking an interest in extinct animals. Extinct? Oh, yes. The book is very old. Most of the birds in it are long gone. Oh, well, what about this bird, though? The ink dip. This one? Well, it was thought to be extinct for a long time. Then one was found here at Tangle Tower. Oh. So it's not extinct. Uh, you misunderstand. It was the last one. The very last. Oh. oh. Oh, that's oh, that's sad. Ooh, a secret, diary. a secret diary. That's Juicy, excellent. I know a lot of people rather like this painting, but it's a little too much for me. I find it overbearing. 
And for some reason, it makes me feel bad for Freya. I think she was more troubled than we knew. Freya was very talented, even at that age. Do you know how old this photo is? Not sure. Must be a couple of years at least. Sometime before Fiona settled on her current style. Very nice. Uh-huh. You've seen these before? Because it's got yes. your man with another woman. Even this one of... Yes. Oh, she hates it. She hates it. I'm not mistaken. Hates it. That little red and white one is supposed to be a bird of some kind. It's the ink tip. You were just talking about that. Mm. A bit vain to carve wooden figurines of oneself, isn't it? Haven't seen this one in a while. He lives in the music room, doesn't he? Currently. Currently, yeah. I can't decide what's worse. How she looks here, or how she looks now. Do you know who this is? In the photo? Oh, absolutely no idea. <laughs> Looks a little simple for Poppy, doesn't it? Thought she was a grade 12 or something. I didn't know there were that many grades. I'm sure they invented some new ones just for her. Man, she really hates Poppy. I must say the girls are awfully well behaved today. I think they know we're in the presence of company. They belong to you. Why do you keep them in a cage? They need a special diet, particular treatment. I let them out to fly occasionally, of course. Uh, but they're all one of a kind. I, I, I couldn't let anything happen to them. Do they have names? Of course. Let me introduce you to Tabitha, Tamara, and Tatiana. Oh, cute names. I've already forgotten all three of those names. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's simple. Tatiana is the oldest, Tabitha is the most patient, and Tamara has the best sense of rhythm. That doesn't Glad help us. That up. Yeah. What about the one on your head? On my head? It's just my hat. Ha! It doesn't have a name. Who would name their hat? <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's my... Uh, my flower. You don't like it? I'm no good at caring for plants. I forget to water them. Birds are much easier. They're a lot more vocal when they get thirsty. <laughs> Do you at least like the look of the flower? The look? The colors? The shape of it? Between you and me, I think it's a little vulgar. Uh. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna wait for that. That to be the last one. Not a fan of insects myself. Whose research is this? We were hoping you might know. No, can't say I. Freya, perhaps. I know she was. That's what I was always thinking. very fond of grubby little things like this. Noted. What's that bird? But these must have been drawn at least a year ago. Oh, how sad. Aww. All right. All right, tell me about this juicy piece of evidence. Mm, that's uh, rather strange now, isn't it? We found it in your room. Just lying around, was it? Nope. You'd hidden it, but we found it. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha her in the message? And what's the deal with the petals? It's really none of your business. Ugh, she didn't tell me anything. Oh, whoops. There's something about the report of Fitz going up Pointer Tower. Something. Suspicious. Okay, so we finally get to talk to Let's him. Let's ask him about it. Let's go now. Oh, yeah. We got some suspicion on you! So, Fitz, I have a report that you were seen sneaking up Pointer Tower, uh, holding a knife. That's not right. I don't <laughs> go into Pointer Tower. I don't own a knife. And I don't sneak. Was it <laughs> Fifi who told you this? How did you know that? A guess. She doesn't like me very much. But yeah, she was mistaken. Maybe she wasn't wearing her eye lens thing. <laughs> what do you think, Grimoire? It was something else. It was the trowel. It was the trowel. Holding something else. So, if it wasn't a knife, what was it? The trowel. What 
about this? Ah, uh, that. Is it yours? It was a gift. It's sentimental. I have no reason to take it up Pointer Tower. I don't use it at all. All right. This tray was used to bury, is used by Fitz to look after, it's used by Fitz to cut. I think it's part of a matching set with Poppy and Poppy's An room. Only troll is part of a matching set with Poppy in Poppy's room. Nope. Nope. Okay. An ornate trowel is part of a matching set with Poppy in Fitz's room. That's not right. Okay, so I'm not even close. Does Fitz need to look after a plant somewhere in Pointer Tower? Oh, wait. So, oh, this one. An ornate That's it. Is used by Fitz to look after a pot of flour. Maybe I'm completely wrong about my suspicions. That I don't think I am. Yes. I've never seen it before. What? We need a clue to compare to that flower. Something that proves its connection to Fitz. Wait, but you're engaged to her. Like, clearly you'd give her a fl Why is he hiding that? Isn't, he, isn't it common knowledge that he's engaged? Something compared directly with the potty pot. This? Let's take a closer look at these. The pot and soil in Penny's room matches the pot and soil found in the garden, almost. Maybe just change one thing. Because this was in Penny's room, right? And this was in the garden. One thing. soil was replaced by the pot and soil found in the garden nope okay so no that took me off by two i think both of them may have come from fritz's greenhouse yeah that's what in penny's room oh it was in, not in the garden in the fritz's get soil. greenhouse in i was room matches i was the calling the greenhouse a, a fritz's garden greenhouse. Is there a separate garden? Yes. Penny's flower was originally a gift from you, Fitz. There's no way it's a coincidence. Uh, no way what's a coincidence? The flower. It looks exactly like Penny. It took me a long time to breed. I wanted the colors to be exactly right. That's some gift. Turns out Penny isn't particularly interested in looking after plants. So I go into her room every now and again. When she's not there, water the flower, change the soil, just trying to keep it alive. Okay. Well, uh, uh, okay. That doesn't really tell me much of anything, honestly. Okay. Hey, my suspicion is wrong. Maybe they do have a healthy, happy relationship. I don't know. It just. Seems like so many clues are pointing towards not. A listless soul drifting through the Oh yeah, you're crazy. What's wrong with her? Not sure. 
She's always been troubled. Comes from a dysfunctional family. I'd say you could ask her about it, but, uh, I think you might find that to be a bit of a dead end. Yeah. He should learn to make the most of his lot in life. And he does have a lot in life. You're talking about money? Among other things, but yes, he currently has agency over a small fortune. That is, if he hasn't already squandered it or lost it. You two don't get on? No, clearly oh, not. no, we're the best of friends. Meh, <laughs> clearly. Ah, uh, yes, the heiress of Tangle Tower. Goodness knows what'll happen when she takes charge. I dare say she'll confiscate my telescope and replace it with a microscope. She doesn't seem to be the type to impress her will on others. No. Still, keep an eye on her. Dangerously intelligent, that one. You sound jealous. Wait, mm. are you two science rivals? Oh no, we operate on very different wavelengths. Huh. Literally. Okay, you know, you think two science buddies would get along. Hard to read, that one. But she seems to know what she's doing. She's kind of mean. You know, she's kind of mean. All the way he said that was so great. And thorough. Then, of course, I met you. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that look. He was like, oh, I've been burned. Nobody could deny her talent. She was remarkable. Artistically gifted, but also highly intelligent. Those two things aren't mutually exclusive, you know. Was she ever interested in astronomy? I don't think she was. The fault may well lie with me for failing to inspire her, but I think she was captivated by more tangible things here on Earth. My daughter loved her. Fiona, too. That said, in the last year or so, more and more I begun to notice her by herself, wandering the gardens at the most peculiar hours. She must have explored every inch of the grounds a hundred times over. Quite a restless spirit, I think. I'm surprised she chose to live at Tangle Tower as long as she did. Hmm. What do you want me to say? He's the gardener. He's a member of the family. Yeah, but not the Pointer family. What happened to his parents, do you know? His father, Flint, is Felix's brother. Strange man. Don't think anybody knows what happened to him, but he certainly doesn't live here anymore. Hmm. What about his mother? Emily? I've not met her. She never actually married into the fellow family. Her relationship with Flint was, uh, it was short-lived. I don't especially want to talk about myself. Introspection often leads to vanity. Wait, does it? Why don't we discuss <laughs> Jupiter instead? I'm not sure if we have time. Aren't there like 10 of them? 83. Yeah, we don't have time. <laughs> yeah, we don't have time. <laughs> the line delivery is so great. Ornithologist. Penny's your niece, is that right? At this moment in time, until she marries the gardener. She'll still be your niece. But she'll depart from the world of the pointers and join the fellows. Like rats deserting a sinking ship. Oof, that's rude. Is that why she's not inheriting it? Because he's like, uh, eh, eh, she's married, so she's gonna have to join the other family, which is just such a stupid thought, too. It's just, you're part of both families, then. It's not, oh my gosh, get over yourself. My poppy, my pride and joy, exceptionally talented pianist from a young age, she, hold on, why is she on your list of suspects? Because she's a suspect. Oh, no. I can personally vouch for her innocence. She never... Well, the truth is, she loved Freya very dearly. If you don't mind me asking, what happened to Poppy's mother? Primrose? She was Flora's sister, a uh, Remington by birth. The playing field has never really been even since she left. Where did she go? Away. Huh? She went away. Huh? What? Vague? So which one is Tangle Tower? What's that? There are two towers, right? Flora's Tower and your Astronomy Tower. Neither? Truly, I have no idea. <laughs> You'd have to ask Flora. She named the house? 
The whole thing is a result of her squabbling with her family. With Felix, you mean? Her husband? No, no, her brother and sister, and her father. The Remington family was a rather tumultuous little unit, you see. I don't think Flora has spoken with any of them in over a decade. Wow. Not exactly a wealth of information, is it? It's enough. No, <laughs> A very old statue indeed. I'd recommend you leave it well alone. Mm, the poor nope. fellow's in bad enough shape as it is. No, I'm gonna figure out what that code is Isn't and put it the in. Process of decay, fascinating. Honestly, yeah. It's not really decaying. It's plastic. Eh, but yeah. It's becoming one with nature, all the same. Where on earth did you find that? It was in a bush outside. I think someone threw it away. How peculiar. Sus. Mm. I find that painting to be in rather bad taste. Oh yeah. The knife with real blood on it? The whole thing is rather vulgar. Curious little thing, isn't it? Do you know what she keeps in there? Nothing. At the moment. It was empty when we opened it. How bizarre. Can't a woman keep an empty egg in her room? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Mm. Pointer property originally. Purloined by oh, the fellows. Oh, shoot. Typical. Turn off phone. I haven't seen that tape for a long time. Who broke it? No idea. Ah, well. Possessions are fleeting, my friends. Here's a thought. Do you suppose the paintbrush could be the murder weapon? After all, it was found at the scene right next to Freya's body. I guess it's possible. <laughs> Maybe. Important? Possibly. Fitz seems rather keen to grow things like this in his greenhouse, doesn't he? What's wrong with that? Well, you can't eat it. Makes you wonder why he bothers at all. Oh. You found a murder weapon? Steady on. It's just a gardening trowel. Looks like a weapon to me. No, no. What's this? It looks like it might be a telescope. Thought you might know something about it. Well, it certainly is a telescope. It has a part there to screw onto a tripod, you see? It's rather small, though. I'm not sure you could see many stars with it. No, probably not. That's a very old book, isn't it? Looks like someone could have taken better care of it. I like the look of a well-read book. Better than one that's never been opened. Ah, well put. A diary can be a wonderful outlet for an outpouring of one's soul. How do you know it's a diary? I suppose I don't, but it does look like a diary. <laughs> I mean, if it's got a lock on it, it's probably a diary. Freya was well acquainted with the abstract, I'll say that much. What does it look like to you? To me? It's a big red thing. <laughs> what a fascinating interpretation. Thanks, sir. He's right, though. It is a big red thing. True, but it... Never mind. Poppy's two closest friends. Freya looks so innocent there. These were drawn by Freya. She must have drawn that one of Hawkshaw rather recently. I guess. This looks a little rushed, even by Felix's standards. At least he tried. Yes, I suppose it's good for the old fellow to have a hobby. Keeps his mind from decaying, you know. Huh? This is supposed to be Felix. <laughs> I think so. I see he's afforded himself considerable artistic license. Curious creature, isn't it? Some sort of amphibious bipedal fish man. Playing a trumpet. <sighs> Playing a trumpet. Yes. <laughs> yes, yes. What a precious photograph. She hasn't changed a bit, has she? Who? Oh, if you don't know, perhaps I don't either. Nah. <laughs> oh, my. This is the first piece that Primrose ever learnt on the piano. Uh, Primrose, that is, Poppy's mother. She passed it down to Poppy when she started teaching her how to play. Aw, Poppy's piano teacher was her mother. Of course. Warms my heart to know that after everything, Poppy still has it up on her wall. Yeah. That's rather a small cage for three birds, isn't it? But then, 
Aren't we all trapped in a cage? Okay. What kind of flower is that? We're not sure. I think it might be the only one of its kind. Primrose would know. My wife was a floriculturalist. Best in the field. That's a flower joke. But she was. Interesting. <laughs> well now, that is most definitely none of my business. Quite possibly none of yours either. I'm a detective. It is my so, business. We found some research. What's up with this golden beetle? Is this something you're studying? I can't help you, I'm afraid. I think it must be something left behind by a previous inhabitant of Tangle Tower. I'm not the first scientist to ever walk these halls, you know. Well, it wasn't in the halls. It was in your astronomy tower. <laughs> yes, very nice. Where is that bird of Flora's? It's been a while since I've seen it. Oh. All right. Oh, it's my case file achievement unlocked and Tangle Tower Historian achievement unlocked. Okay, I'm gonna end the episode here, and then I have a couple things that I can think I can try. I'm I feel like I'm running low on like things to do, but I'll figure it out. I think I think I got a couple things in mind that I need to do. So on that note. Yeah, in the episode. And remember to shine your light in every world. Bye!